Helion Thermal Imaging Scope has the following parts. Germanium objective lens with a focusing ring for adjusting the focus of the scope. Latch for lens change. It is only present in Helion XP models. Observation eyepiece with diopter adjustment ring for individual vision compensation. Rechargeable Li Ion IPS5 battery that can be replaced by extended IPS10 battery for longer operation. Controls located on top of the housing consist of five buttons. On off power button, navigation up button, menu button, navigation down button, record button. Micro USB port can be used either for power or for downloading recorded data to PC. Tripod mounting hole with quarter of an inch thread for mounting Helion on tripod. Correct way to start Helion. To start working with Helion thermal imaging, follow these simple steps. Insert the battery into device firmly and push the lever down. Push power button once and wait. In several seconds, the Pulsar logo will appear on the screen shortly after the image will appear. With the help of diopter adjustment ring, make sure that you can see the edges of the screen and overlay icons under the screen sharply. In this way, the image is adjusted for individual vision. This procedure is done only once. Point the device at the object of observation and by turning the focusing ring to either one side or another, reach this state when the object is seen sharply. When a different object is observed, refocusing can be done if necessary. Hellion's menu and settings. Apart from its main function, power button has several other functions. Short press when device is activated initiates calibration of the sensor. During calibration, the image freezes for a short time and a clicking sound is heard. Long press for less than three seconds turns the display off. Display off sign will appear on the screen. Long press for more than three seconds powers the unit off completely. One short press of a navigation up button switches between hot black, hot white color palettes. In case when thermal imager is in color mode, the hot white palette is activated. Long press of up button activates and deactivates Wi-Fi in the unit. The Wi-Fi icon under the screen will change when the button is pushed. Short press of navigation down button activates digital zoom. Zooming is performed in steps progressively up to the highest zoom factor and then gets back to 1x zoom. Long press activates picture in picture function. The second small image with magnification appears on the screen. Long press of record button allows switching between photo and video recording mode. The respective icon is shown on the top left corner of the screen. Short press depending on selected mode activates video recording or takes photo. When video recording is active, short press of record button pauses the recording. Long press of a record button stops the video recording. Menu button can be used for accessing two menus, hot menu and main menu. Short press of the menu button activates hot menu in the right part of the screen. To switch between the settings in hot menu, push the menu button repeatedly. The following settings will be available. Zoom, range finder, brightness, contrast. Each individual setting can be adjusted with the help of up and down navigation buttons. Stadium metric range finder measures the range of the object with a known height. To do that, the object should be placed between two lines on the screen. When it is necessary, the lines can be moved closer or further away from one another to fit the object's height. Three objects are available for reference. Hair, 0.3 meters tall. Wild boar, 0.7 meters tall. Deer, 1.7 meters tall. To enter the main menu of the unit, it is necessary to press and hold the menu button. Navigation between the functions is performed with the help of up and down navigation buttons. The following settings are available in the main menu. Wi-Fi activation, observation modes, forest, rocks, identification, color modes, black hot, hot red, red monochrome, rainbow, ultramarine, violet, sepia, calibration modes, automatic, semi-automatic, manual, Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi network password setup, access level setup, owner or guest, general settings, language, date, time, meters or yards, objective lens setup, default settings, memory card formatting, remote control, 
Defective pixel repair function. Device information. Objective lanes in Hellion XP models. Power the unit off before removing the objective lens to protect the sensor. Pull the lens change latch in the direction of the eyepiece to release the objective lens. Turn the objective lens counterclockwise until stop and pull it out of the unit's housing. Insert another objective lens into the housing and turn it clockwise until stop. In order to make sure that magnification values on the screen and range values in the rangefinder are displayed correctly, select the appropriate lens in Objective Lens Setup menu. Stream Vision Mobile Application To start working with Stream Vision application, activate Wi-Fi in the unit. This can be performed in two ways. Press and hold Navigation Up button until the Wi-Fi icon under the screen turns active. Enter the main menu and activate the Wi-Fi in the Wi-Fi activation setting. In the smartphone, enter Wi-Fi settings. Select network with the name Hellion. The last four numbers in the name of the network are the same as in the serial number of the connected unit. The smartphone will ask you for a password for the unit's Wi-Fi network. On default, the password is 12345. If necessary, it can be changed in the settings of the unit. After starting Stream Vision application, the main screen will appear. Name of the connected device will be shown under Stream Vision sign. There are five icons at the bottom. My Devices, Files, Viewfinder, Stream, and Settings. My Devices screen allows you to check information about the unit. Check availability of the new firmware for the unit and update it. My Devices screen also gives access to the unit settings. File screen provides access to the files stored in the unit. The files can be downloaded to smartphone and viewed with the help of an integrated player. Viewfinder screen shows the image from the unit and allows the user to control some of the functions of thermal imager like zoom, color palettes, or video recording remotely. Stream screen is necessary to start direct live streaming to YouTube. For this purpose, the user has to perform three easy steps. Switch the smartphone into the streaming mode. Connect and verify the YouTube account. Notify friends by sending them a message with a link to live stream. Settings screen contains settings of the mobile application and auxiliary functions.